Uh, I would say I don't think Nairobi County is doing very well. I think um, the problem with the permanent secretary and uh, with uh, the governor and them saying tribal politics is just a small thing, an, okay. an indulgence of sorts when it comes to what is actually happening in the mm -hmm. Nairobi County. Mm -hmm. And when I hear of this, pub this public spat between two leaders, I actually think they are taking well, they're talking time, which is of limited resource. They're taking mm -hmm. that time, uh, in time to squabble and quarrel and just waste it in terms of instead of them being out there working. Mm -hmm. So for me this is almost like playground. It's a sideshow. It's a sideshow as, as, as far as I'm concerned. And what I would say to the governor is I, f I feel that the governor is reaching that point whereby he seems to be attacking many people, many people attacking him. He's mm -hmm. just recently sacked uh, Mr. Makori mm -hmm. just after He's appointed him less than months. He's sacked him, and of course we know his uh, deputy resigned again. Another issue that has not been resolved. Mm. He's now looking for another deputy, and now there is this problem he's having with the permanent secretary, which he now looks like he is focusing on that. On, on that, instead so of... I would say that uh, Sonko has a lot on his plate. I think when you hear people are attacking you and you have a focus, just let them keep attacking and you continue. He says that he is not, he doesn't have problems with Kikuyus. I think this is not something that you need to stand up there and say. This is let whereby the seen. action, let it be seen. So if he truly does not have problems with any tribe and he's not a tribal governor, even if someone stood on the rooftops and shouted, you are a tribal governor, mm -hmm. he's, the evidence will be out there to show otherwise. Mm -hmm. Other than you standing and saying this, oh, you will not succeed, you will not do this, is a bit petty mm -hmm. and it's taking uh, time away from real issues. All right, Kevin, one of the things and issues that we have as a country, so, uh, like we mentioned earlier in regards to uh, the handshake with, uh, with, uh, with the two principles, yeah. is the fact that we bury things under. Now, for instance, with Mike Sonko, um, Poli Kapigade, his uh, deputy, resigned under circumstances that are not too clear has that been resolved and the fact that it hasn't been resolved and we kind of like now moving on to other things and already picking other fights uh, does that pose a problem as far as you're concerned as a governance expert in regards to how we run our you know state organizations uh, probably to say that um, the Constitution did not do us justice uh, in so far as uh, what we need to do when such a situation arises. And I am sure that there are people out there who are now engaged in a process to be able to bridge some of these gaps uh, through constitutional mean, uh, means. And that therefore means that, uh, in my view, the governor really needs to invest his time in uh, issues that affect Nairobians. The people who voted for Governor Sonko did so uh, to the level that they were sure that despite his weaknesses and lots of his interpersonal issues working with people and his comp uh, competence that they were assured i mean they were sure that the governor would be able to deliver services and ensure that nairobi remains that city that because uh, of know, the tag team he had mm -hmm. with polycarp exactly and so people expected that with the coming in with the, the coming the, the balance between him and polycarp that uh, yes he, of course he would do the, the politics as uh, as mr egade therefore does the you know the profession the professional day-to-day -day running but you note that the constitution is very clear about the roles and functions of a governor and in fact the county governments act of 2012 really defines the roles of a governor and the roles of a deputy governor. The deputy governor is in office under the whims of the governor, that you act as per the functions that have been given to you by the governor. And, and so Sonko, in my view, needs to, one, he needs to look for county governance watch to be able to help him to deal with these issues of both running the office, management of uh, personnel, because he needs a team. He needs people to be able to work with. And these people are the people who then will be able to ensure that services are delivered and that he does his work and therefore fulfills the promise that he gave to Nairobians. The second thing is I think the governor needs to invest um, a little time in, you know, and in, um, in wars and, and, and fights with this person and that person. The governor is the chief executive officer of, of the county government, and that is how the Constitution and the County Governments Act defines who a governor is. So the, 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 probably Governor Sonko needs to also invest in personal development, uh, you know, uh, register for a few courses of management, uh, uh, come to the Kenya School of, of Government, uh, come to County Governance Watch, we'll be able to, you know, help build and develop the capacity of both the governor and his team, and his team. because Nairobians mm -hmm. are looking for, you know, s certain vibrant things. And mm -hmm. because Nairobi also receives the highest amount from uh, Treasury among all the 47 counties. So people expect a lot. And if you look at what's happening in Nairobi today, whenever it rains, you have water clogging all over, people have issues with sanitation. 
since uh, April last year, but one, Nairobians are still uh, struggling with water. And in fact, this uh, past three weeks, we have been taking photos mm -hmm. in different parts of uh, the estates of Nairobi of people, you know, looking for water. And almost every part of this uh, city county, people have serious issues with service delivery. And these are functions as per Schedule 4 of the county gov of the constitution, functions that are supposed to be rendered by the county government. So the governor really needs to invest a lot of time in listening to the people. And we doing are, what? And doing what? And, and, and just a reminder that uh, 